surprised to see you here. I thought you'd be working on the presidential campaign. Pinky, this is really serious. People are losing their jobs left and right. It's all very disturbing. Writers can't write. Then readers shouldn't read. Hm. Do you think it's a coincidence that Fred Thompson hasn't spoken since the writer's strike began? Beth, how am I supposed to learn about the writer's strike if I can't read about it? Maybe you should download a webcast to your iPod. That's the best way to get information now. Everybody's doing No way. It. I can't do that. I'd be offending not only the writers, but Pinky. Now, Jim, don't get testy. Jeez. Something better give soon. This is unbearable. Sounds like you really need some Splenda in your coffee. For heaven's sakes, no. It's practically poison. Don't read that. Take my word for it. There goes Pinky. Thank you for taking my call. I spotted you on the picket lines yesterday. How will you be affected by the strike? Were you working on anything special? Yes, that was me out there, all right. But to answer your question, no, I don't have any projects in the works at this mm. time. Writers have to stick together. Writers united, never divided. Really? You've made many, I'd say, hundreds of millions on past projects. Would you be willing to support your fellow writers monetarily? You know, share the wealth. You are famous for your generosity towards presidential candidates. What? What is this? This is Dr. JR reporting for Perky Productions. We are investigating a story that a group of citizens organized by Pinky Duquesne has shown their support for the writer strike by organizing a reader strike. Unfortunately, people not reading has impacted the health of many West LA residents. I put away my cookbook. I just couldn't read the directions. I didn't want to break the reader strike. Then I undercooked the Brussels sprouts. My husband and I feel just terrible. Here we are with Pinky herself. Pinky, are you aware of the impact of your crusade on the community? I am very concerned about the wellness of our customers. This is serious. Excuse me, could, could you please point me in the right direction? I'm looking for the parsley. All right, thank you. Do you really think you're helping the writers by encouraging people not to read? For gosh sakes, I was only trying to help. You are persuasive. I mean, people are not reading. They're not reading cookbooks. They're not reading food labels. They're not reading any instructions at all. Right now, thanks to you, the whole community is suffering. I mean, the, the writers that are on strike don't write food labels. They write stories for TV and movies, you know, drama and comedy. This is not a funny story. It's not? Well, then it certainly is dramatic. Hmm. 